So, working for an AI group straight away, you know, we should say everybody should do sex, and this is high value. We make a lot of money I, out of this. It's not for everybody, right? And you've got to the certain conditions that you've got to start thinking about when you're thinking about sex semen. If everybody goes belubas and does a whole pile of sex, it, it creates other issues. So while it's a good thing to do, you do it on a selective basis, primarily. Uh, the, the first thing we have, we have to look at, do we have confidence in sex semen? So sex semen will generally run about 80% of conventional semen conception rates. So we'll have lower conception rates of sex on average. And if we take, if we take with the law of small numbers, if you do a small group of cows on sex, or you have a particular herd of a small number of cows and you do it on sex, you may have a catastrophe with it. While you have other herds at the other end are going to hit 70-80% conception rates. And the guy at the bottom is the one we'll hear about uh, uh, primarily. But if we mitigate the risks as much as we possibly can with sex and choose our cows correctly, we can avoid a lot of that and hit into our averages 50 to 60% on, 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 on conception rates. We also try and choose our most fertile animals, our, more, our most eligible animals, and highest genetic marker are going to be our heifers. They're, a real, they're an important group to focus on for sex. I suppose the other thing, Mark, is with the heifers, if they have more female calves, they'll generally be an easier calf as well. Yeah, those female calves coming are going to be a couple of kilos lighter, and generally we're operating at the moment with EBI, we're short gestations, we're getting a much smaller calf being born with a lot more vigor. So we're having a benefit across the heifers. Yeah, okay. So how are we going to mitigate? We, we know we're not going to get the same conception rate. We know how important the conception rate is to sex. How can we, how can we mitigate it? So we select the right cow. Hmm. Tell us about timing. When would you go with the sex? Okay, so, so look, I, I mean, the first thing is that there's been a change in the pattern. Um, we have domestic bulls now close to a sexing station in, 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 in Moor Park. So our acceptance of, of a higher, we have higher confidence in the field fertility in sex bulls, first off. There's a lot of bulls gone down there and there's a lot of straws available as such. Um, the second thing is we're really looking at, if, 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 we're looking at bulls that have high field fertility before they're chosen for sex. We're not looking at any G1 or young test bulls going in there. The too high risk in terms of the field fertility is unknown. It'll only come out in the wash. So that's so, so, so that's a key piece. The second piece here, are we going to pick pick the right herd? So the herd should be fertile. We need herds that are pushing into that high uh, fertility sub index uh, at the start. So we're selecting our, our, um, our most fertile cows. And again, the standard of your heat detection is going to be critical here, and it brings us on to the whole timing piece. If we're going to put sex semen into a cow, she needs to be off heat as such. We cannot put it into a, f a cow that's fresh standing. So a cow that's fresh in the morning, come on early in the morning, she's, uh, she's just coming on, and, and we'd normally submit them for, for um, AI. They're not suitable for sex. They're suitable for a conventional stroke. So if the AI man is coming at 11 or 12 o'clock, whatever time in the morning, that cow is getting conventional. And this is one thing we worry about. People buy a bunch of sex straws and going to put them into these specific cows. But that's not the way it works. If that cow is not on correctly for sex, she shouldn't get it. You're wasting money. So the cow shouldn't be fresh. She needs okay. to be going off heat, Martin. She needs to be going off heat. The viability of sex semen is shorter. So it, it, it's, it, we have a shorter window for it to remain fertile within the cow. So they need to be coming off. And that's why synchronization programs yeah. work well with sex semen, because we can we can time it in, particularly for the heifers, and time it in better, and you get a better result once you're carrying out the synchronization program correctly. Right. So if you are going to sync groups of heifers or groups of cows for sexed, do talk to the AI tech, talk to the vet, make sure you get your timings right, and the AI tech is actually available. We can time synchronization for heifers to have the AI tech available in the afternoons. So you're not getting, you're not, they're not getting caught at peak. We'd also really strongly advise if you're going to use sex, try and use it earlier in the season and even start early. On the basis we get the high fertile cows and we have an opportunity if they don't go and calf on sex, you have time to catch them up in convention. Okay, so, yeah, sorry, go on George. Cows, with 100 cows marking and say 20 or 25 herpes coming along, how many sex straws could we use across a herd like that? Well, if we're talking about our conception rates, we're going to operate, look, and be conservative, conservative uh, around, fi around 50%. Yeah. First of all, set your goal. How many heifers are, do you actually want? Exactly. And then you're probably working 
if you're using sex, you're looking at two, 2.2, 2.3 sex draws to actually get that heifer Would you do a repeat of sex? Would you go back to convention for the repeat? That is a good question. I'd go conventional. Dan, would you have any view on that, on a repeat? Well, it's been discussed in the past, hasn't it, with about not definitely not using sex, but you could say if you have a particular cow, our actual next heat could be a better, stronger heat to go in calf. So if you're willing to spend that extra money, then there's no reason why you can't. Yeah, there's a cost to it, but we we'll really look at the suitability of the cow. If we're looking at calved, the cow needs to be calved generally more than 60 days, right? So she, she shouldn't have gone through any issues around calving. She should be actively cycling. She should have seen her on heat. She must be in a positive body condition score. So, and this is a challenge, like on some of the farms, it's going to be a challenge for, particularly we're getting that with higher production cows. We're seeing a lot more cows hitting much higher peaks of milk. You've got to watch the body condition score, and preferably they're on a rising plane of nutrition. We get a sudden belt of bad weather in the middle of, at the start of your breeding season, and cows are drying out our intake is starting to drop. We question putting insects. So I'm always, because the veterinary head is still on, I'm always cautious, but you can, you can manage the risk of that. Can manage the risk. Martin, just to bring you back over to this board yeah. here, this is our snapshot of the profile of Tipperary East and Tyres. Yeah. Which groups should be in this, of these groups, which ones would be the more suitable or most suitable for using sex? Where are they? Okay, if we're up here in our, in our top group here and we're really identifying very high merit cows, and we put in sex in here, um, we're really improving the situation both, both on that farm. We're also creating heifers, potential heifer surplus that can go, go into the other groups. Okay, so I, I'd certainly look in here. What you're saying to me is, maybe down here, sex is certainly... I, I question it. The yeah. genetic merit of the cows themselves isn't good enough. Right? So you're not, you're not getting the gain that you need. The middle group certainly here, we can select cows. So in this middle group here, we're going to have individual cows within that herd that are absolutely bang on gen uh, genetically and we can actually select those for sex. And you go through a selection protocol, whatever you desire, whatever you need.